Holla! It's TK over here once again. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but anyway, it's once again me, I, the one and only Miss TK. Yeah, on a Tuesday. Mm hmm. Today's topic is going to be life being a woman. Jeez, I have so much things to say when it comes to that. So much. Honestly, guys, I have so much things to say when it comes to life of being a woman. So much. Where do I start? Life of being a woman. It's difficult. It is so difficult. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But sometimes it can become so much. Like, seriously, it becomes so much. But you gotta endure. You gotta live with it. Because you were born a woman, so... We have to live with it. What can I say? Firstly, I'm sure you girls know what I'm going to say now. You know those few little strands in your hair? These things? Those kind of things? This is what you have to deal with when you're a girl. This is what you're going to have to deal with when you're a girl. So, it's, it makes you look pretty. Yeah, it makes you look pretty. But sometimes it can become too much. Like, I admire, I honestly admire those African ladies. Or the African girls. I don't know why, like, they, honestly, like, they go through so much with putting their braids in and putting in their weaves and stuff like that. And it looks so pretty, honestly. Girls, girls, I look up to you. I honestly do look up to you. Like, you guys go through so much things just to look pretty. And I must say, I'll give you a thumbs up for that. i give you a thumbs up. It's because firstly, being a girl, it, it's a lot of effort. It is a lot of effort. Like, me, self. I got short hair. Okay, I recently cut my hair. I don't know if you guys noticed, like, my previous videos, my hair was a bit long. I'm going to miss it, though. I'm going to miss it. But, yeah, I cut my hair. I cut the fringe also. You know start the year out new look and all of those kind of things i dyed it also um what color it's light brown now yeah it's light brown now but it first started out with blonde so yeah i dyed it the new new year's eve yes i dyed it new year's eve so Yes, it takes a lot of effort, honestly guys, it takes a lot of effort. Like you have to shampoo your hair, then you have to rinse it, and then you have to condition, and then rinse, and then you have to sit under this... What do I call it? You guys know I'm calling it the hair dryer, but I want to call it something else because it's... It's this... But then you have to sit under that for probably, okay, I take less than 45 minutes to blow my hair and then I take an hour yes an hour to tan it because it has to look perfect girls I know I'm all about looking good like I said that was one of the five facts about myself I'm all about looking good so yeah it's a lot of effort I'm saying that a lot because it's the truth seriously it's the truth girls then ah uh, ding 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 number two shopping Shopping for a woman, guys, I'm sure you can say, it's hectic. Shopping for a woman is hectic. Because there is so much things, like I personally, if I go to the shop, my grandpa, he would never, he's impatient, very impatient. So he would never ever go with me to the shop. He would rather tell me, okay, yeah, you go. I'm not going to go with you. Or he would um, leave, me to the, leave, leave me in the mall. And then he would do his own thing and then I'll probably take an hour or two in two shops and not even five. So yeah. Because girl, that's just how girls' brain work. It's like a lot of things going on to it. Like you could see the one shirt now and then you would see a jeans. And then you would think, okay, what am I going to take now? Am I going to take the jeans or am I going to take the shirt? And you would tell yourself, but the shirt looks better. And you would say, no, but I need a jeans. And it's going to go on like that the whole time until you find the perfect one. Eventually you won't and you will go to another shop. And you probably wasted like an hour. That's life of being a girl. Then, 
Number three, you're in bank. Girls and bank. That's why guy, girls always take so long in the toilet. Come to think of it, a lot of guys, a lot of guys I know, always complains about girls taking so long in the toilet. It's a lot of effort to make yourself look beautiful and stuff like that. Yes, you want to make yourself look beautiful. Every girl wants that. So yeah, back to the handbag. Um, handbag. Yes, I remember. I wasn't the handbag kind of girl at the beginning, but after a while, you know, you need your things with you, and then I started becoming a handbag kind of girl. So, what is in a girl's handbag is a lot of things. Can be sometimes unnecessary. I remember last week, this weekend, um, me and my friend went out. We went out to a few friends, and then um, I took my handbag with, and she's not a handbag kind of person. So then I took the handbag with and then she, I asked her to carry it, but it, according to her it was very heavy. So she asked me what was in my handbag and I told her and a whole lot of unnecessary stuff came up. So yeah, that's just a girl, a whole lot of unnecessary things, but we're going to see now. Um, what I have in my bag is firstly, my hand lotion, my perfume, yeah, this is guys, this is my perfume. It's called Luck. I love this perfume. It smells so divine. Oh my word, it smells so divine. I love it. It's my, my perfume. And then it's my small little makeup bag with all my makeup in, like my foundation, my mascara, all of that stuff. And then it's my earphones. I go nowhere without my earphones. Boys, girls, guys, men, women. I go nowhere without my earphones. And then it's my glasses, you see, glasses, yeah, it's my glasses. And then it's my small little mirror, small cute little mirror, yeah. And then it's my comb, comb, it has to come in my bag too. And then this would go in my makeup bag, but it's a bit too big, so I clearly need to get a new makeup bag, so yeah. And then it's uh, extra pair of earrings. This was this was one of the, the topics. Um, this was one of the things me and my friend spoke about because she asked me why do I have another pair of earrings in my bag? So I told her you'll never know what might pop up if we might decide if we decide we're gonna go out now. You'll never know if I'm gonna need this whoops or if I'm just gonna you know have my pearls on or that. You'll never know. So. A bit of unnecessary things are gonna go in, and then obviously it's my phone. And then yeah, um, all my other things. I unpacked my bag, so all those unnecessary kind of things is not in here. My wallet is somewhere in my room. I don't know. Last but not least, the deadly. You know those monthlies that you get. <sighs> Seriously, I wish that this. I remember there's this quote that says um. Why can't Mother Nature just text you or phone you and tell you, look here, girlfriend, you're not pregnant, so you don't need to worry. Instead of going through a week's worth of pain and suffering, like seriously, going through your periods, oh my word, menstruation, your cycle, it's crap. That's my point of view. It's not my perfume. <laughs> Um, that's my point of view when it comes to being a woman. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys want to comment below, say anything, you can do it by that small little block over there. Or if you just want to like or dislike, you can do so. Ask me anything. Ask advice, guys. I know you just want advice or those kind of things. You can drop it down below. So, don't forget. So, yeah. We'll see you next time again. Don't forget to also subscribe. Don't forget to do that. It's most most important, important to do that. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. So it's me, TK, your homegirl. Out. So bye bye. Mwah. Love you.